So William, what's with the mask? What mask? <laughs> Don't be afraid. It's just a new episode of Garden Time. Ah! <laughs> Welcome to Garden Time and Happy Halloween. You know, it might be the scariest weekend of the month, but it's also the most fun down at Bauman's Harvest Festival. It's the last weekend and it's going to be a great one. And later in the show, I'll be talking with Brian about all the festivities. And speaking of scary, you know, we are almost completely sold out of seats to our trip to Hawaii this February. So if you want to escape this kind of weather, but spend time in the oh. sun with this, <laughs> be sure to go to gardentime.tv to get more information. And coming up in the show today, we'll be talking about how gardening is helping some prisoners in their rehabilitation. We're also going to be showing you how you can start your holiday decorating a little sooner. But first, some tips on mulching your plants for fall. I'm out at Grim Fuel Company with Jeff Grimm and Jeff, I see you guys are blowing out some, um, some compost for fall and so why is it such a good time to do that? Oh, it's a good idea to put the mulch out this time of year to help protect the plants and the root systems from the winters that uh, is right around the corner. We're liable to get some cold temperatures and those uh, a layer of mulch will help keep those things warm and keep the plants from getting damaged. Also this time of year with all the rains that we're starting to have finally, uh, it helps with the erosion control. The rain comes down and hits soil and if you don't have something on there, Get, the rain impacts the soil and it starts washing it away. If you have a layer of compost down there, it helps protect that soil and keep it from eroding. Yeah, you know, also we you do get so much compaction, it's nice to have it down there to get some extra, just um, extra soil there. That's true. And the micro macronutrients that are in the compost that we're blowing, we're, we're installing guard mulch compost. It's a yard, all organic compost made from the stuff that comes into our yard debris oh. recycling center today. So it's loaded with macro and micronutrients, and that will help as the rains leach down through that, some of those micronutrients will leach into the soil and be absorbed by the plants and help feed the plants uh, throughout the winter and then in, into the spring, give them a head start. Ah. We can also install other products like the traditional bark dusts and stuff like that also. Yeah, you really have a big array of different kind of mulches and bark mulches to put down. So really coming out and you have um, you have the samples there that you can see all the different kind of supplies. Yeah, we have the hemlocks that are sliver free. You can get those in a reddish brown color that's kind of traditional or the dark brown shades. And also the fir bark dust, which is a little more budget conscious. It's a little, little less expensive than the hemlocks. And all those things will give the same benefits with the exception of the micro macronutrients. Right. The bark dust, they don't really have a lot of, uh, you know, macro micronutrients in them, but it still gives you that protection. Yeah, and it looks so nice and really weed protection or weed prevention too. It's really something in suppression. That's, yeah, that's a good point. And what we've done here, we've cleaned up all the beds. We put down a pre-emergent so that those weed seeds that we haven't, you know, that you know are still in the soil right, right. that we couldn't get out are still in there. And as soon as we get a little bit more rain, those guys are going to want to start germinating. And so we put down the pre-emergent to keep that from happening and give us some protection from the weeds for the coming months. Yeah, and so you guys do come out. I mean, we can hire you to come out to my house and blow everything. I don't have to be shoveling it, which is a really nice service. Yeah, it's great, especially for old guys with uh, bad backs <laughs> like myself. Yeah, we can. Uh, we have the U-Haul Center here in Tualatin where people can come up and pick up their uh, pick up load of their own mm -hmm. mulch or their own bark dust. Or we can deliver it in bulk, dump it in your driveway and you do all the work. Or we can get the blower trucks out and you don't have to do anything but sit back and watch them work. <laughs> well, it's nice to have it all done. I mean, we're all busy people now, so it's really nice to call, make an appointment with your company and have them come out. Yeah, it's a great service. It's a great way to go. Jeff, speaking of the weather change, you have another product that a lot of people can use. Yeah, we also have firewood. We got some nice, well-seasoned uh, fir and uh, a mixed wood. That's a mix of maple, alder, and fir. And it's well-seasoned, ready to go, stored under cover. And we have lots and lots of that that's ready to go, along with our home heating oils for people with uh, that need the home heating oils. You know, you can go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to Grimm's website, and you can call them up and get all the information. Jeff, so, thanks so much. It's really been interesting. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for bringing the nice weather with you, too. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful.
Garden Time is brought to you by Portland Nursery, a passion for plants, a nursery for plant people. Is your garden in need of refreshment? Hi, I'm Sarah, and there are plenty of things in bloom at Portland Nursery. Come check out our beautiful fall color to perk up your garden. At Portland Nursery, we consider fall the second season, and the gardening opportunities are endless. Establish next year's trees, replace lettuce and greens, or get a jump on onions and garlic. Portland Nursery, a passion for plants, a nursery for plant people, on 50th and Stark and 90th and Division, or at portlandnursery.com. Ten days, nine nights, and one great trip with your Garden Time gang. Travel with William and Judy on our next Garden Time tour this February in beautiful Hawaii. Space is limited. Book now. Go to gardentime.tv slash tours for all the details. Fall is a time to think of planting and planning. Planting new plants now will help them get a jump start on next year. Black Gold All Purpose can help your plants get ready for winter and next spring. Formulated with a blend of natural and organic nutrients, it contains everything your plants and spring bulbs need for a happy and healthy start. Look for Black Gold All Purpose at your local garden center or nursery. Black Gold, all the riches of the earth. Judy, yep. do you remember when I asked you if you liked me? I mean, if you really liked me? Yeah, I liked you on Facebook. Yeah, well, I need you to do that again. Well, we really need everyone to like the new Facebook page for Garden Time. So you just go to gardentime.tv and click on the Facebook icon and like us again for our brand new page. Every year, trees fall or break, causing property damage, power outages, and injury. Now is the time for Bartlett Tree Experts and Collier Arbor Care to get your trees ready for the extreme conditions ahead. Our free consultation will help to spot the signs of potentially hazardous trees. We can help address problems before they occur. Whether it's trees or shrubs, we can help you get a healthy and beautiful garden. Collier Arbor Care and Bartlett Tree Experts, providing environmentally safe tree care since 1907. It might be sprinkling outside, but at Bauman's, everything is undercover. I'm with Brian Bauman, and Brian, you know, it is so great to come out here because you have so much cover. You know, it's one of the things uh, about doing a pumpkin patch here <laughs> is we're a nursery as well. So we get dual purposes out of all these greenhouses. I mean, we do grow lots of flowers, but this time of year, there's lots of activities inside. Mazes, swings, slides, obstacle courses, and today and tomorrow are our last days. Aww. In fact, I get calls all the time. Well, can we come out, you know, in November? And and I, I start planting hanging baskets this week. Um, <laughs> you need those so, greenhouses so back. So the, the stuff has to come down and we have to transition. So it has been, um, shall we say, a wet month? Yeah, it has. Um, so the field's a little muddy. Okay. Um, I would probably bring a four-wheel drive car if you can. We just don't have gravel parking lot for everybody this okay, weekend. Okay, sure. But um, we've got lots of things under cover. We've got warm food. We've got great activities and this is really your last chance to enjoy it before next year. Uh, so wear your boots and have the kids come out. If it's right. a little muddy, what can you do? It's fun about it. Right. So Brian, if people want to come after this, mm -hmm. after the show goes on, you're open, right? Yes, so we open at 9 a.m. and it's a good idea to get here early mm -hmm. because um, one, we've got more gravel covered parking, um, but two, you can spend the whole day here. Sure. And if you wait till later in the afternoon, um, you just don't have enough time to do everything. And it does get kind of crowded sometimes, but if you come early, you can spend all day, have lunch here, enjoy yourself, oh, mm -hmm. um, and it's much more enjoyable that way. Yeah, it is a great time to come, and so there's not just the activities for the kids, there's lots of pretty things for your front porch, like these mums. Mums, to me, are my favorite yeah. fall flower. I know you see them lots of places, but I like to try and do different things with them, so we've started growing these hanging baskets They're very mums. cool. Um, in fact, I had some people who travel the world and were actually came here to see our mums and were so impressed. They loved them. Wonderful. So, um, you know, all the Garden Time viewers can come down, check them out. Um, we do have the Belgian varieties, which are in full bloom right now, but we have a whole crop coming on that is just getting ready for Thanksgiving. Perfect. So these fancy mums with these big, huge blossoms on them, they'll be perfect for centerpieces uh, on your table or on your front porch to greet your guests. Um, it should be really nice. Right. And you know, it's not just to decorate the front porch. You know, Thanksgiving means baked goods yes. and other kind of produce. So we're going to go over and talk about that too. Let's go check it Excellent. out. Excellent. Brian, these are kind of my two favorite things, delicata squash and pumpkin pie. Well, I had to go run and grab a pie because William's mom tells me I'm under strict <laughs> orders every time he comes by to get him a pie. So She loves her pies. You know, it's, October's just finishing up. 
Thanksgiving is right around the corner. Right, sure. You only have a couple weeks. Sometimes I know a lot of people think that after pumpkin patch stuff's done that, that we close for the year. And actually we just switch gears mm -hmm. just like that and it's time to go into the bakery. Um, in fact, many people can call us ahead and order their pies for Thanksgiving. Okay. Um, we do dinner rolls and all that mm, pumpkin yummy bread. Um, that's my favorite. <laughs> um, so people can give us a call. We'll help them out with Thanksgiving. But delicata squash. That's a good one. Um, my mom would have that every night for dinner if she could. And now my kids, that's their favorite Aww. thing by far. And people always say, well, how do you get your kids to eat more vegetables? This squash is so sweet and so delicious, I, I don't have any problem getting my kids to eat it. Well, definitely. And you can have um, Barbara's recipe is on their website, and it's yeah. easy, easy, even I can do it. Yeah. And so really, there's so much going on. The hours change a little bit after right. the festival, That's but right. you're still open. That's right. Well, we close. This will be our last Sunday open. So okay. if you want to come on Sunday, come this weekend. After that, I take Sunday off for the family. Okay. And then we're every day, nine to five. Ah, wonderful. So really, you have to come out to Bauman's and don't forget to put in your, res your um, reservations for all of your baked goods for Thanksgiving. Thanks so much. Thank you. Take care. Garden Time is brought to you by Capital Subaru, your way on the parkway. Buying a new vehicle should be something you look forward to. So, when you come to Capital Subaru, bring your pup, practice your swing, go for a walk, and relax. Our personally tailored service makes it easy for you to find your ideal Subaru. While you enjoy this service, selection, and amenities you simply won't find at any other dealership. Now at Capital, save $3,500 off MSRP on all new 2016 Subaru Legacy 2.5i's and 0% APR for 63 months plus two years complimentary service. Capital Subaru, your way on the parkway. Don't let the cold and wet get you this winter. Warm up to a season of heat with Grimm's Fuel. Grimm's has plenty of wood and heating oil ready to deliver to keep you warm all winter long. Stay warm and cozy with Grimm's Fuel. 10 days, nine nights, and one great trip with your Garden Time gang. Travel with William and Judy on our next Garden Time tour this February in beautiful Hawaii. Space is limited, book now. Go to gardentime.tv slash tours for all the details. Take the hard work out of yard work with the Leaf Hopper. The Leaf Hopper, the ultimate garden cleanup tool. Simply fill, fold, and funnel your yard debris away. It eliminates the back-breaking work of garden cleanup. When you are done, you can even use it to apply garden mulch in a precise area. Made from permeable material, it resists mold and mildew and folds away for easy storage. Get the Leaf Hopper at Quality Garden Centers or at EasyHallTarp.com. Well, you know, it is that time of year when we start considering how we're going to decorate our homes for the holidays. And I can think of no better place to go than out here at Al's in Sherwood. And I'm with Candace. So, Candace, here's what we're going to do. There's so many trees here to look at, but I want you to pick out the top three that you really like this year. And we're standing in front of one of them. We're standing in front of one. Um, white is a classic and beautiful piece that everybody kind of plays off right. into their house. And what we did this year is add some blue aspects to it, um, more of an icy feel. The, the theme name for this is Frozen Lake. Beautiful. So that's where we got the blue. And so you're thinking of icicles, the blue with the frost. And then this just kind of pops if you have that all white theme. This is just something new that you can add this year. And I love the, and one of the things that I'm, and I'm not good at this, I'll own that, but I love that there's so much. It's such a mixture. It's not just, you know, one color, one right. set. And really beautifully done. And also, um, since we're in the Northwest, just any of the natural aspects, like yeah, the yeah. twigs with the ice, um, the branches, just to try to make it feel like you are outside, bringing that outside in. And so then there's another one that I, I, I have to say, I think I'm going to the next one that's my favorite, but let's walk over here and talk about it. Okay, Candace, now we are to, I really like this tree a lot, so okay. tell me what the name of it is. So this is Simply Christmas, and it's got more of a Ralph Lauren lodge feel. It does. In fact, when I walked up to it, there's a, there's a luxness about yes. it, and yet it's still very casual and inviting. Yes. There's different pieces. You've got your cozy stockings, you've got your knits, you've got the bells, the sleds, the sleighs, you know, everything that encompasses Christmas. And you know, when, when I myself walk into a place of beauty like this and I see these trees, I'm not going to lie, I, I question my ability to ever do something like this in my own home 
but you have a couple of suggestions on how to start. Well, was, our, our designers do a great job of just using some larger pieces. Uh -huh. I mean, most people buy one size of ornament. Um, and here, if you kind of alternate with a, a larger piece and like just big signature, just a couple yeah. things, or even a sign, um, this is just a standing deer that you'd normally put in your mantle. They just threw it in the tree. In the tree. But and it people can adds ask. Texture. I mean, they can come in and say, look, I have pictures of these, or bring in some of their own and say, Help me mix these yes. in, and you guys will do that too. Oh, absolutely. Wonderful. Yes. Now, you have one more tree that you're going to show us, so let's take a walk okay. over there. All right, Candace, now this is the last one we're going to talk about, so t tell me about this one. So this is Christmas Conservatory, and um, what is beautiful about this is that chartreuse green. So it's kind of a new green. It's different than your traditional green. And with the pops of white, it just really comes alive, and it's got the holly, the berries. A lot of more natural feel to it, but a little modern with it that chartreuse. It is modern, and I love, I love this garland. This is a new thing. Isn't that great? And yeah. it's a felt. Nice. So we have that. We have the texture of the bead garland going through here, bells, a um, lot of embroidering details and in it. And you are right. It is traditional, but with that kind of modern twist to it because of the color of the green. And it, yeah. Just by adding the green and then the pops of white, it's going to make the tree look a lot different. If you do have a traditional red tree, by yeah. just those pops, it's going to You can change look, the whole look yeah, of it then. It'll look now, uh, maybe some of you are saying, hey, I want to get out there and look at these trees. Well, there is a, a wonderful event happening again this year. Tell me about it. We do. So uh, next week on Thursday is Sherwood's Evening of Lights. Um, we turn the lights down and you get to see all our beautiful Christmas trees and our poinsettias. And then Woodburn's is Friday. And then our uh, Gresham one is on the 12th. And I have to tell you, if you have never been out here, or even if you have, it is so worth another trip because it is breathtaking and the, the and there's there's all kinds of music, isn't there? And food oh, and, there's and, food and, and beer drink and wine. And there's, and, yeah. yeah, it's it's a yeah. really a great family event and a lot of fun. So for more information, you can go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to the web's uh, uh, website of Al's, and then you can find the one that is closest to you because there's three different locations in the Portland area. Thank you so much, Perfect. Candace. Thank and you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs>I'm at Portland Nursery on Stark Street with Sarah. And Sarah, this is really a good time to talk about cover crops. So let's first tell what is a cover crop. Yeah, so there's a, lots of different kinds of cover crops, but essentially they are a crop that you can spread in your garden when your garden's sleeping um, that will help with controlling weeds, um, add nitrogen to the soil, um, and then in the spring you till it under and it just easy. helps a lot with the texture of your soil and whatnot. Ah, you know, and I like to do them because it looks pretty. Instead of looking at my bare raised beds, there's something green out there. So yes. that's kind of cool. Yeah, and flowering sometimes. Yeah, as well. that's true. And so are there different kinds of cover crops or is there one kind? There are. There are a few different kinds. We've got this handout um, at the store and on our website. Um, the most popular is a mix called Garden Way Mix that's got, you know, a bunch of different kinds of things in it, uh, clovers and ryegrass and such. Um, but there, we do sell individual oh, cover crops as well. That's really so nice. um, there are different cover crops that are good for different situations, but in general, they're all going to benefit the soil and most likely add some nitrogen back in. Right, and it's like, you know, some people are very specific, and so that's really nice that you have that for those specific problems or that you want to correct, mm -hmm. or people just want to, you know, experiment. Let's see what this one does to my garden next year. Exactly. Yeah, and then what about rates? So does it have some information on how much to put down? Yeah, so with each different kind, you know, the, the seed spreading rate would, could be different. Um, so we do have a, a, a graph of that in here. Excellent. Um, so something that cover crops are good at is helping pollinators over winter. So that's become oh. so much bigger of a problem um, yeah, lately. What's out there? And so, so that's a big reason why we're promoting that today, just to give pollinators something to eat during the winter. So it's a really win-win for you and, and uh, pollinators. Yeah, that is great. Well, if you have any other questions, please go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over and you can see this handout, but really come out to the stores on Stark Street and Division and get your cover crops and get them planted today. Thanks so much. Thanks. We have close to 40 acres in pumpkins now. Every year it seems to get a little bigger. We add one more attraction. We've done the rope swing. I'm gonna shoot some apples. We have a brand new laser adventure and our bug trains have always been a big hit. We have all these greenhouses and come October, we fill them with all different kinds of activities. A dark hay maze, we have a hay obstacle course, we have a kid's hay maze. There's something for everybody. Little kids, big kids, everywhere in between.
In 1947, Clement Gander started Standard TV and Appliance in Southeast Portland. Standard is celebrating its 69th anniversary with price cuts in every category. Laundry, refrigeration, HDTVs, mattresses, and more. Freezers starting at $198. Get an Amana stainless steel side-by-side refrigerator for just $989. A Whirlpool stainless steel dishwasher, now just $449. And a Beautyrest Queen mattress for only $399. Setting the standard since 1947. Standard TV and Appliance. Don't let the cold and wet get you this winter. Warm up to a season of heat with Grimm's Fuel. Grimm's has plenty of wood and heating oil ready to deliver to keep you warm all winter long. Stay warm and cozy with Grimm's Fuel. Fall is the best time to reconnect with your garden. Let Blooming Junction refresh your garden, your palate, and your soul for the cooler days ahead. Come take advantage of our fantastic selection of perennials at 35% off. Our gorgeous high fiber pottery is 40% off. It's the best time to plant and our best sell of the year. So come connect with nature and discover beauty at every turn. And enjoy the freshest produce grown organically right here on the farm. Blooming Junction, offering quality plants for beautiful gardens. Well, it is such a delight to be in this beautiful garden. I am at Coffee Creek Correctional Facility, and I am with Shannon and with Sarah. And Shannon, here's what I want to know. First of all, tell me a little bit about these gardens, because there are a lot of them here. Um, yes, we have six garden spaces of over 20,000 square feet. Wow. <laughs> yes, this is um, my section back here and Sarah's section, and we maintain this area. And what is it specifically that happens? Because this is a lot of food and flowers. So what 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 goes on with them? Um, well, we produce mostly um, vegetables, and we um, produced over six thousand pounds of produce last this year. Wow. And, and that's used here for feeding people. Yes, yes, we actually ate all of it. Some of it we'll send to the, me the medium facility uh -huh. um, for the girls there to enjoy, wow. but most of it gets consumed over here. And then, you know, it's not just that you grow food and flowers here, you also do something with the Oregon Zoo and a butterfly thing that we did a story with. Tell me about that. Um, yes, so we are helping to build habitat and to um, feed the Oregon silver spot butterfly that is um, in, on the endangered species yeah. list. Um, we have um, plants growing that we harvest the leaves off of and we give to the Oregon Zoo and they have the larva um, there and they feed their nice. larva and then their larva pupates and then they release it into the wild. So Shannon, who is it that might help with all of this stuff? What groups do you have that will help with you? Um, so we partner with PSU and um, Kaiser and Mercy Corps Northwest and Spirit Mountain Casino has um, also given us a grant um, to help this help this garden program. And I'm going to switch over here to, to uh, Sarah for a moment. Sarah, tell me, it seems like there's a lot of stuff that you, no, being a gardener, you have to have compost, you have to have all kinds of stuff. What goes into the process of getting that here? So um, occasionally we have donated compost. We nice. make our own compost. Oh, really? And um, occasionally when we have extra money from grants that we get, we buy compost. So it's just a combination of different And how many, how many people are working? I mean, do you have like full-time people here? Yeah, we have seven full-time gardeners, five or six part-time waterers. Um, and we had one landscaper, but she's now a gardener, so. And then you also get the benefit of taking classes as well, too. Tell me about the one you were telling me you took. Yeah, we have the sustainable gardening class, which is through OSU Extension Services, uh -huh. um, Let Us Grow. It is an awesome class that has taught me the science of why all of this works. I come to work every day, um, and I knew that things worked, sure. but I didn't really understand why they worked. The sustainable gardening class really taught me scientifically why this flower is growing, or why this isn't working. <laughs> it wasn't just some magic no, that happened, it, it actually had a reason to occur. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't like I just threw seeds into the dirt and they just grow. It's like, oh, I know why that's happening There's a process. Now. Yeah. Well, now I'm going to have a, come on in here for a minute, Chris. Uh, tell me about what, what, what can people do if they really want to step up and help? Well, uh, Coffee Creek is just one of the facilities that let us grow, which is now under the umbrella of growing gardens. Nice, yeah. So it's two kind of merged uh, 
groups that are interested in educating the public, not just folks in institutions. But we actually have uh, the Master Gardener Sustainable Gardening course being taught in 13 state facilities, wow. adult facilities, um, two juvenile facilities, and the federal facility in Sher Sheridan. Um, this, I'm the only one that's taught out here because we only started at Coffee Creek. It's the last institution that we taught this at, uh, only started in January of 2015. So and Sarah so and Shannon kind of bookend my classes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and so people, can they go to like the that place and, and, and visit their website and maybe donate yes. some money to help or anything? All they have to do is to go to the Growing Gardens website. There's a place that you can donate and you can specify that you want it to go to Let Us Grow and gardening training in Wonderful. the institutions. So Chris, how many people have, have historically gone through this class? Uh, in the penal institutions in Oregon, since 2010, over 600 inmates have wow. taken the course and passed the exam. So they're eligible to become master gardeners when they're released. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you know at Garden Time, we absolutely adore gardening, so we love anybody who can get involved and make their lives better with gardening. For more information on how you might want to step up and help, you can go to the website at Growing Gardens and do your best there. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you, Sarah. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Chris. Thank you. William, this is a great spot for the container. And thank goodness this pot lifter made it a lot easier to <laughs> sure move it because it's pretty heavy. Which brings up our tip of the week about moving containers closer to the house for some fall and winter protection. You know, being under an eave is going to protect it from the frost and out of the winter wind. Plus, it's going to give it some warmth just because it's against a building. Now, don't forget, because it is under the eave, it's not going to get nature's rain. So you might have to remember to water them and keep an eye on that. You know, moving your plants in at this time of year, that's our tip of the week. Thanks so much for watching Garden Time today, and we wanted to introduce you to our new co-host <laughs> and Judy's new boyfriend, oh. Jack Pumpkin. Oh, William, I do like someone with a little bit more teeth, though, I think. <laughs> <laughs> we want to thank Bauman's for letting us hang out today, and don't forget, it's the last weekend of the Harvest Festival, and don't forget to sign up for our trip to Hawaii. For more information on both of those, as always, we invite you to go to gardentime.tv. William and I thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week here on Garden Time. Don't you just love all the things inside Garden Time magazine? So much great information about gardening. I do, William. There's new plants, adventures, recipes, local gardeners, home tips. And it's free, right in your email. But there's two things you left out. What's that? <laughs> you and me. <laughs> we write some of the articles and get to share our gardening knowledge. Of course, I should have. William, where did you go? Right here, Judy. You'll find both of us every month in Garden Time magazine. Sign up for your free subscription on the Garden Time website. Ten days, nine nights, and one great trip with your Garden Time gang. Travel with William and Judy on our next Garden Time tour this February in beautiful Hawaii. Space is limited. Book now. Go to gardentime.tv slash tours for all the details. The proceeding was a paid program of the Gustin Creative Group and its sponsors.